I'm always asked, how long did it take you to paint that painting? And I jokingly respond, it took a lifetime to paint that painting. Um, there's some truth to that. There's a lot of experience and memory behind each painting. In this video, you'll see about 100 hours of my painting process condensed down into about four minutes of video. Okay, here's the study. Um, hopefully we do it justice or make it better. Well, welcome to my beautiful studio. Um, it's my, uh, it's actually pretty big. You don't see a whole lot of it, but uh, I usually tell everybody that um, when I have the money, I don't have the time, and when I have the time, I don't have the money to finish it. So I've just left it unfinished for now, and maybe someday it'll be finished. You'll notice that uh, I started from the top of the canvas. Uh, I always start from the top of the canvas. Um, I've always started with the sky and felt the sky influences the ground. The colors in the sky will influence the ground. Um, and it's also a lot easier when you're painting the way I paint to go from top to bottom. Uh, it just keeps it cleaner. So I just always do that. And I always start from the right. That probably is because I'm right-handed. If I was left-handed, I'd probably start from the left. The other thing you'll notice is a cast on my right hand. That's nothing I, I use to paint with. I, I got that mountain biking in Colorado a couple weeks prior to this painting. I did, I did try uh, painting with my left hand. That just was too slow, and uh, the whole process of relearning with the left hand was just too much. So I, I stuck it out with, with the cast on, on the right hand. And, you know, it wasn't too bad, just a little uncomfortable after a couple hours. I've been working with a palette knife for, I don't know, probably 10 years now, maybe longer. Uh, I used a brush when I first started landscape painting, and I loved it, but it tended to mush and gray out the colors. And so I started using a knife more and more, and then before you knew it, I was just using a knife primarily. It's time to work on the bottom part of the painting, so I have to go behind the easel and crank, crank the painting up so I can work on the bottom part of the painting without killing my back. Alright, so I've painted it. Um, I did kind of the final stage. What I mean by it is the painting behind me. Um, <clears throat> it's been on the wall in my studio for a couple months. I have no uh, cast on now. So I've been kind of toying with it. There's some things that are kind of bothering me about it. Had some friends over last night. Uh, they gave me some suggestions. So now I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand this area just a little bit, and I'm probably gonna go in and repaint this whole area. It's a little too flat, um, and there's some things that are bothering me about it right here. So hopefully this will do the trick and I'll be done. Um, not, it's going to drive me kind of crazy. All right. I'm sanding this very lightly with probably a 600-800 grit sandpaper. Um, I, I don't want to get into the canvas on this. I'm just trying to get rid of some of the ridges so when I go back with a knife um, it doesn't get too sloppy. <coughs> usually do this outside but it's like 10 degrees outside and kind of snowy so this is where I decided to separate from the original study the original study had, uh, the river was more gray in the foreground I decided to punch it up some more to bring it forward and also add a little bit of shadow from the tree in the upper left hand part of the corner of the river. Uh, some of these were suggestions from some friends of mine, Jerry Moon, uh, Joe LaRusso, and Michael Albrechtson that came over and had given me or helped me kind of uh, look at it in a different light. So I do appreciate that guys, thanks. And wham, it's done. Now to let it dry for a few months, um, put a varnish on it, 
frame it, send it to a gallery, and hope it sells. And in my good fortune, it did sell um, at the Craighead Green Gallery in, in Dallas, Texas.